We're early. We are. Because Granny's done early. True. She was done like 6.35. It's, I was getting ready. It's because Dice had a man cold. A <laughs> man cold. You guys are big wimps when you have a cold. Oh, I do have a turn down. You do. Positive. Hello. There's one person in here. It's probably going to take a little while since Granny already ended and we weren't supposed to go live till seven. seven. So, hey, we're early. So we can get out of here early. In theory. In theory, but then we go hours later. Yeah. So. She was off all day, so she can't say, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I need, you know, there's no excuses. There isn't. Guess what? I'm on vacay. No more work for me until technically April 3rd. So. Good morning. Dang, blue collar, where are you at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you in Thailand? <laughs> where are you at? What's up, Kathy? Oh. Kathy, what's up? Oh, uh, Kathy sent me her address a few days ago. I've been working, Kathy. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. She sent me her address, so. Oh, we should probably take care of that on maybe like Tuesday. We'll take care or of it. Sunday. We'll take care of you. One of these days, Kathy, we'll take care of you. We're out of work. We have no excuse. What's up, Ron B? What's up? How are you? Hello. Hi. What's up, Elaine? What's up, Elaine? Hi, Kinos. My son was uh, down bit. your way at the beach today, but he's coming back right now. He's with friends. In Newport? Zeke is, the 15-year-old. He was. He was. Now they're going to Denny's. At first he was like, oh, we're going to go to Chick-fil-A. And I was like, okay, I'll send money to Max. Uh -huh. So I sent Max money for gas and food, and and uh, he's like, never mind, we're going to Denny's. I don't even think that kid's ever been to Denny's. <laughs> Because we don't go to Denny's. How has he never been to Denny's? I don't remember ever taking them to Denny's. You give me Grand Slam. What's up, Missy? Hope you and Jack are doing well. <laughs> Take your time. I just need lucky numbers. Before my, before my May Reno trip. There you go. I'm not going to take that long. Promise. I'm horrible when it comes to mail. Ask my father. She's horrible when it <laughs> comes to, like, you know. I'll get it done. Oh, it wasn't horrible today. I went to TJ Maxx. Well, she probably spent all her money. <laughs> no, I didn't spend all my money. Did you spend the money? I what? Did I? No. Did I? What's whose money? I don't know. I spent my money. Whatever. That happens when I'm at work and she's off. She roams around and spends a bunch of money. <laughs> I can't. I I need to stay in the house. I need yeah. to stay working. That's what I need to do. She goes, I don't have anything to wear. And then she buys a bunch of shit. Then like, I bought a whole like bunch a... of shirts and I bought some really cute sandals. Yeah, I didn't see them. No. The pants I was wearing today were cute too. I didn't see them. I was wearing the jeans. I wasn't looking at them. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Mm-hmm. Just what's everybody up to? This weekend... Anybody? Bueller? Look at the cat. What's up, Kino? Rock and Rocker. What's up? What's up, Rocco? What are you doing? Oh, look. The cat's playing with shit. Where's Kissy Cat? The cat's active. Oh, I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. Cat, what are you doing? Man, the cat's over there chilling. I think she's... The cats are a little discouraged because oh. they had little puppies. I think she's caught on the thing right there. Are you caught? Do you need help? Why don't you go help her? <laughs> you're caught. You're like, I'm stuck. Sorry, the cat has his paw caught on her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, baby. Oh. Did she get out? Okay. Yeah, she's good. Kissy cat, she's fine. The cat's okay. She needs her nails. She said Jack is sleeping. It's 9 45 here. He works and gets up at 4 30 East Coast time. Okay, yeah. He should be asleep. You're right. I hit eight hundred dollars on a hundred games of Dime Kino at the D Lounge. Damn. One, two, three, four, eleven, twenty-one, thirty-one, seven spot. All the corner. That's crazy. That's one, nice. One of the last Kino lounges, the D and what was it, the Horseshoe. I think that's the last. Has yeah. the last ones. Oh, these two, these two troublemakers. What's it? I watched their vlog today. They hung out with uh. They hung out with uh, Chris and Alex. Mr. Marbles is having a party. Kissy Cat, 
Yeah, you just yeah. It was she was like she was like hitting that little the cat ball. She's all pew. and then her pew. and then she got her like her, her thumb her thumbnail. <laughs> they don't have thumbs. They don't have opposable thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah. They can't go like this, fucker. Look okay. at they have these these cute here, I took a picture of them this morning. Hold on. They had where the heck? What is wrong with my pictures right now? Okay. Please stand by. Please stand by. I wanna show you guys this. Look at the cutie patootie. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at little cutie patootie. So there was two puppies that were here yesterday and this morning. Where's the girl? That was the little boy. This is the little girl. Isn't he cute? So they're like, what, how, what age? What did they say? Two months old? Eight weeks old. Eight weeks old. And they were running around here. So Cleo stayed under our bed the whole and most of the time. Yeah. She was hiding. She was like, screw this crap. Who are these? She was not. Legged things. She was not happy. Did she I wasn't. See? Look, it's Steve. What's up? And Shauna. Miss you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I miss Shauna. I want too. him too. Yeah, I, I can't keep them. So, so yeah, they, they were somebody else's. They're Pit Sharpe mixes. They're mixes. What would, would Vanessa say that her dad just, you know, puts the boy and girls together and just hope to come out? Pregnant. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Puts the pit bulls with the Sharpays and they all just have a party, have, have a big orgy. <sighs> Lord. I guess the cat said the cat's being replaced. Poor kid. No, they're not because we're not, we don't have them now. <laughs> we just had them for yesterday and a little bit this morning. Yeah. They are gone. So they're not going to replace because I don't have time. I will never be home for puppies. I like puppies. I don't have the. I can play with them. That's all. That's all good. But I don't want to, you know, puppies have to take care of them because I'm never home. That's true. The puppy will get sad. I saw. I saw Rascal today though. Rascal's fat with a little tiny head. He's a sausage. <laughs> He's a sausage. We can't travel. With exactly. Puppies. Exactly. When you have pups or dogs, it's harder just to leave them. We we just leave the cats for like. Here's clean litter, a shit ton of food, and a bunch of water. Survive. What's up, Rick? What's up? Old style. Kino, you know, what's up, Rick? Welcome in. Still one of my favorite names on the on the YouTubes. Old style Kino. There is Hey Wifey. Sister Becky. Sister Becky. Sister Becky. <laughs> <laughs> So, Becky? That's right. He likes puppies. And Rocker knows what I mean. Anybody who watches or anybody who watches wrestling knows what I mean. Puppies! Puppies? Oh, hi. Okay. Anyway. Self feeders and bunny stop spice. Yeah, see? Bunny feeds the cats. Mm hmm. Pinchy Kino and Candy are early. Well, Granny got done at like 6 30 because the dice is man cold. So I'm like, Candy was off today. So she was getting ready. I'm like, Granny's already done. Let's just go live. Yep. Exactly. See, he knows what's up. Jerry the King Lawler. Puppies! I don't know what that is. Oh, sorry. I'll show you a clip of Jerry the King going crazy over uh, so, the, uh, the, the WWE ladies' puppies. God. <laughs> How's the weather out west? It's terrible, Rick. It's 70 degrees and sunny. My son was at the beach today. Yeah, <laughs> my son was at the beach. It was like blue skies. Hey, look. Look, there's the cat. Oh, wait. Mm. Other way. There, there's a cat. Because <laughs> cat. Missy. Oh, <laughs> she looks. Okay. Cat's gone. <laughs> what are your go-to numbers or patterns on Kino? Well. Okay, so all the hits you saw were probably on Caveman. I don't really have, I I just play seven spots on Caveman. I move them around. Although the two that we did hit was on that one that I made. It was like either the, what was it, a water spout or the microscope, remember? Yeah. 
I don't think I did a picture or anything on that. I couldn't figure it out if it was, if it was, um, um, I, I couldn't figure out if it was, um, I kept on hitting on this. On that was Bubba's this numbers Bubba's right here. Numbers. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah exactly play 11 to 17 elaine <laughs> so i kept on hitting on those numbers if you can see it as close as i can get it's We're, baba's numbers uh what do you call it the old faithful old reliable old reliable old faithful old reliable you know what babe i'm looking at my face it's a little thinner what happened to your do you know my i can i think i'm losing my fat <laughs> skinny head i'm not skinny uh, yet. hold on now hold on carmen carmen hi carmen guess what i'm not a member anymore <laughs> where is your member carrying where is your member carrying uh cubby good old snort yeah Coco, will we see you in October? Of course, we'll see Pinchy Coco at the Granny Fest. Making a cocktail. Mm. Who, who's making a cocktail? He's making a cocktail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that. I'll be there in two weeks. I did. She had like a heart, some type of heart irregularity or something i haven't seen any other updates I, I saw that she was in there and said that she had she might have had a small heart attack and that's what my dad had my dad had like an episode and they're like oh you've had probably two or three heart attacks within the last and year like, and my dad's like what <laughs> like yeah so we're like mm. you never know because my dad's like i didn't even i had no idea he had no idea and the doctor's like you know they do the scans They're like yeah we can tell looking at your I'm like well, hopefully hopefully she's gonna hopefully she gets the open. tests done and all that good stuff and it comes out okay uh coco said i'll be there in two weeks good you'll be at the casino oh no it's your it, you're going out there with lisa J. Is it like your birthdays or something like that? Um, Kissy Cat wants to be dead by 78. Well, <laughs> don't get a couple more years, Kissy Cat. <laughs> Live life to the fullest. You're so stupid. <laughs> yeah, she she put an update saying, I was on Twitter earlier, that it, it just showed her in the hospital. And then I think she gave an update after that on Facebook, I think, that, that yeah, said that they, the sure. doctor maybe thought that she had a small heart attack. So prayers for sin that she's good. Mariana! I'll be in Vegas with Mariana. My of birthday course. weekend. So that's what, like two weekends? So like... The beginning of April. After Easter weekend? No. Coco's going to be there during the week. What are we saying? She's not She's not weekend. She's, she's not, not weekend people. She's not weekend Coco. She's get there on Sunday, Coco. Oh, she's staying at the horseshoe, as JR affectionately calls it. The horse's hoe. The horse's hoe. Look at it. You'll never look at it the same. Horse's hoe. Not the horseshoe. Horse's hoe. God, this is weird. Keno, I'm not adopting you after all. Yes, you are, Kissy Cat. You don't want to adopt him. You went to adopt me and then, you know. Do you know you could adopt an adult? You could. Wow. File the paperwork, Kissy Cat. Let's go. No, because my grandmother adopted an adult. Oh, that's remember? right. Yeah, and then and, and then he her. moved. He no, he didn't. Shit. No, he no. That's not the one. Oh, that, that, that he was expecting to like. I think he allowed it to happen because he was expecting stuff. But then he went and moved to like I don't know, Oklahoma or something. What weekend, Coco? Friday to. Monday. Monday. Your birthday's the seventh. Okay. So the weekend after Easter. There, there you go. Uh huh. Course, ho. Exactly. Ding dong. I'm not weekend Coco either. 
<laughs> All right. Enjoy your enjoy your birthday weekend, Cocos. I won't make a joke about Cocos' his, age. He'll kill me. Adopting his gardener. His gardener. Mm. The it's Hermes, right? Hermes designer. Aren't those like handbags and shit? I don't know. But yeah. And then in the end, my grandma died, and I don't think he got jack shit. Because she left everything to her so-called 40-year-old, I don't know, husband. Oh, Ooh, there's, look. there's some balloons. What the hell? <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. What the hell triggered balloons? <laughs> that was weird. You went like this, girl. Balloons. Like this. <laughs> balloons. Here we go. Yeah, we don't know what it. We don't uh, know. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, handbag guy. There you go. There you go. Oh. He has no family. So you can get adopted. Okay. You file the paperwork, kissy cat. <laughs> I want all the kissy cat fortune when, when you're gone. When, when they die. <laughs> She's going to leave it all to the cats. I know it. <laughs> I bestow. I bequeath upon the cats. You know. I'll we, cook their beef. We can just take the cats. I'll make their beef jerky. I don't want to get beat at the nursing home. I have no kids. <laughs> we'll feed your cats beef jerky. <laughs> and whatever. I think the hand raised, the balloon comes out. Well, I see your arms, babe. I don't know. They're like jazz hands? No? I don't know. Oh my God. I did, and Bunny. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. Who wants to adopt me? <laughs> yeah, please take her. <laughs> no, adopt me. I still married to you. I need some um oh, some rich parents. Who got money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a kid, I always thought about that. Like, I was like, oh, what? I want to, uh, if, you know, family, you know, just having family have like die off and leave you money or something. I'm like, I think I was in early like teen or late teens and early twenties. I was like, my, I wish. My mom's gonna leave me with debt. <laughs> I said, I'm incinerating her and putting her in a coffee cup, coffee can. <laughs> put her in a coffee can and bury her in the yard. She's not, you're stupid. If I adopt you, all you'll get is hey, those purses and shoes. Oh, Lord. Coco. I am on the bandwagon right there. Coco, don't adapt me. No, adopt me. <laughs> I just want I just want Coco's diamond status. Coco, I just went to the store and bought some money, some clothes. <laughs> Can I have your diamond status, Coco? Elaine, did I see your son is out of the Navy? Yes, Indeed, he is. He is, he is home. He's home for good. He was there for a year. Um, he was generally honorable discharge i think yeah so he gets all the benefits so he's going to be going to school soon and he's just going to try to figure it out he's going to take a few weeks off obviously right now and probably work at his old job maybe it's the hardest working man in show business it's bradley jones what's up bradley hello bradley are you still savoring that stella that i got you that i paid my hard-earned money for Mm -hmm. That might be my favorite part of the list. But... <laughs> Walter. What's up, Walter? If Walt's up and Otina's up. Actually, uh, Elaine, he is actually in Vegas right now. <laughs> my son is, but he can't do shit involving Vegas, Vegas. But Good evening, Kino's. Killing it at Kino Nation. Yes. Thanks, Corey. Fun vlogs. Yeah. we. It was fun. Yeah. We had a good time out there. We crushed that live. Caveman Kino, play it. Yep. Seven numbers. Do it. She was killing the six out of sevens with Bubba's numbers. I know. I'm going to play Bubba's numbers next time, too. Glad your son's back. I am, too. I was happy to see him. Look, it's the star of the latest vlog that I watched. Watch. Just to get away. Chris and Alex. John and Jilly. Chris and Alex. John and Jilly. Chris and Alex. What's up, Mr. Dog? And Alex, if you're watching. Mon Pa Kino. The O'Briens, Teresa O'Brien. Hello. Hello. How's it going? I played Bubba. I played Bubba. P played Bubba numbers. 
Yeah, the kissy guy got the meatball. I'm like, Bubba, look what I brought you. And he's like, what the? Because <laughs> nobody's seen her. Unless she's seen her in Exactly, yeah. yeah. That is true. That is true. No, but wasn't Bubba at Granny Fest when, when she was it? Or was that a different? I don't know. Yeah. Kissy Cat skipped one or wasn't there for one. Maybe it's, she wasn't there for the one that we all got trashed on. She played his numbers one little. One. There you go. Oop. 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 It won't do it. <laughs> he can't. Chat's being an ass right here. <laughs> I don't know where you guys are at. I know you guys are up over 800. Everybody go subscribe to the getaway. They're closing in on that thousand fast. Yes, they are. I can't put my sandal back. You guys will get there. You guys are trending so well. But if you're not subscribed to the getaway, go do it now. Go watch their day one or their part one vlog. Do it. And if you watch their part one vlog, you'll see these guys in it. Chris and Alex. They recently went over a thousand. Watch their stuff. Do it. Let's give this a good one. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Sub to the getaway. Sub to Vegas dog. Watch them both. See who's better. So it was the second one that we all got trapped. Coco sub. I skipped the second one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because she was that the was first one because that's when she surprised us. Yeah. And then um, she skipped last year's. Yeah, but didn't she leave early? You left early on the first one. Who left early? I thought I thought I thought uh, Kissy Cat left early on the first one. She wasn't there when you proposed. That was Denise. That was Denise that left. No, I, I thought Kissy Cat did too. She didn't. I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Did you leave early? I thought you left early. Maybe I didn't see you. I don't know. Maybe I was just all over the place anyways. Dice. Texas Rob. What's that? And Audra. See, I got it right. Boom. Tell Wifey he said hi. Audra. Texas Rob. Hey now. All the channels you suggested are awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't hang out with stupid people. <laughs> he oh. is stupid people. I am the stupid people. <laughs> so you know. I was there last year. I was there too. <laughs> <You're> dumb. <laughs> we try to keep it entertaining. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, exactly. Pat and I played Bubba's numbers and won three jackpots. I know. I saw y'all killing it. See? It's You're all, always killing it. Saw Bubba's numbers. Teresa destroys. Like, destruction. You know. She was killing it. Um, Linda, a.k.a. Matsky Max, Matsky Max was killing it. She she hit that six out of seven yeah. or that seven out of seven action. Was it like seven oh, grand oh, or something? No. She commented because I told her, I said before we left, she's like, I'm gonna go try to win. I looked at her, I said, you go fuck everything up. I said, you fuck everything up that is in front of you. She's like, I will. She commented on my video. She's like, I took your advice. She went to like Caesars or someplace and said she just destroyed it again. Oh nice. I was like, damn girl. Audrey said, hello. Kissy Cat, you were wearing the cute dress at yeah, the proposal. Gambling Granny! Yeah, Granny. I have those dresses in my closet, and I was debating on getting rid of them. Yes, watched her day one. I watched it when I was sitting in traffic driving home. It's quite entertaining. But vlog, not clog. <laughs> Okay, I did try Kino and his success. I enjoyed you and Steve helping me out. Do not listen to Steve, okay? He sits there in his little Cleo hoodie and cries <laughs> when he plays Cleopatra Kino, okay? <laughs> Look, I'll say this, okay? If you're looking to win bigger, play multi card regular Kino, even K Man, you get hella multipliers. Cleo has the shittiest payouts. And then you get into the bonus and it's just doubled. It's just mine. It's my Kino advice. 
if, if you're looking for a big ba-boom, play K-Man. If you're looking to be Steve Smith, play Cleo. <laughs> what are Bubba's numbers? I need to try Keno one day. I'll he, text you. So it's old reliable. Yeah, he has an old reliable, which is a seven spot, and then he puts it on the other side, and then he builds a bell. So Bubba's known for the bell. So when he plays like a four card Keno, he builds a bell. So it's like one, three, four, and then five across the bottom, and he builds it like that. So, but what she was playing, she'll send you the picture. Happy Saturday, Miss Rach. Oh. Hey Rachel, you like my uh, my video? <laughs> I sent uh, Rachel a video of my kids trying Vegemite. Oh yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, they gagged like <laughs> no tomorrow. <laughs> Zeke really did. Robert was chewing it for a little bit, and he was just like. <laughs> Let's see. Destiny! What's up, girl? On the name pronunciation, there you go. I get beer for, I think you're saying Audrey correctly. Let's see. Uh, hold on. If I lose, blame Kino Kid. Hush, Becky. Hush now. Bell, what the fuck? Yeah. It's basically just like. He plays four cards, seven, just, you know. It's a lot. If you, congrats on the grant. I was yelling for excitement. I'm sure my neighbors were like, yep, that shit was wild. It was. Okay, Texas Rob has a good point here. Cleo is, like, if you want to play and you're just, you know, you're, like, rocking and rolling or whatever, you know, boop, boop, kind of build it up a little bit. Yes, this will I agree upon, but. Every time I go in, Cleo, it's, it's, like, taking my money. I'm all Cleo bores me i can't do it. it it's just so like and then the free games are like a lightning fast and i'm a slow keno player so i want to collect my money from final four bets in october there you go let's see i like the bug i play the cape the go go five yeah 51 to 55 mm -hmm. So Cal Gambler, what's up? I like it. No, oh no. Does Corey like Vegemite? Please tell me no. <laughs> That's gonna be reason number like you know, whatever that. Corey... A bit dramatic. Who's a bit dramatic? The kids. Yeah. Oh yes. Who wants to? Who wants to see the video? They were gagging like this. It was them. hilarious. Do you guys want to see it? Let's see here. Yes, we did. We fi we finally we were waiting. Granny was live. We were waiting for a waitress, waiting for a waitress, and they finally came around. So I think we had a couple of Bloody Marys, right? At the El Cortez uh sports book that Kissy Cat gave us the tickets for. Yes. Yeah. The girls finally came around. I'm like, Bloody Mary. They they took a while and then we went we took the blood, we stayed there and then they we went to eat. Fulton Brass, big news. I made to the top five of my karaoke knockout singing. I wonder if you'd like to vote for me. I'll be in the finale first. But yes, of course. Where can we vote? Dice needs sleep. My name is P. Vine Pettymore. Your name is Go Take Nightquill. <laughs> Who is doing yard work this weekend? Thank goodness it's raining Saturday. I wanted to watch March Madness anyway. It's actually it's actually supposed to rain or it, you had a chance to rain tomorrow on like Sunday, but yep. What two teams do you like going deep? My friend won twenty eight thousand dollars on seven. Yep. If you're just playing regular Keno, dollar bet seven out of seven, seven grand. Max bet four, twenty eight thousand. Oh, that's what nice. I want. There you go. Rachel's spitting knowledge and facts here. I couldn't win anything on Cleo Caveman on that. Yes, I know. I know Caveman was good for you. I, I seen you. Subscribe to SoCal Gambler. There you go, everybody. Is it a fig spread? If it tastes like fig, that would be. I traded Vegemite years ago. My manager back in the day was Australian. Uh huh. Purdue will go deep. I agree. Nine out of ten. Yeah, see, th th there you go, Teresa. I agree. I played Keto and hit 9 out of 10 in 
five hundred dollars. That's criminal. Criminal. Cleo should be put in jail. That's ridiculous. Those terrible payouts. At least if you're playing caveman and you hit nine out of ten, mm -hmm. if you get a couple eggs times four, uh, the third egg times eight or times ten, you know. James Madison all the way. I don't think they're going all the way, dude. Mm. Are bar kino machines better? I mean, caveman is like I feel like it's. I mean, at gym bar, it's fine. Yeah, it just depends. You know, kino is just like. Video poker. You can literally look at the pay table and know what you're getting. All right. You want to see this video? Yeah, hold on. Okay. We're going to clear this off. Hold on. Hold the chat. Hold the chat. We are going to... What's I... Illini. Illinois. Fighting Illini. There you go, Dice. All right. We're going to play this video. Hold on, let me... How long is it? It's not that. It's a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here are the kids trying Vegemite. My boys are trying it. Show, let's show the bread. Take I'm it send this to Rachel. Okay. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> Is it not even that salty? Bro, I had one speck and it hurt. Okay, come on. It hurt. It hurt. It hurt. It hurt. No, no, it hurt. It's just like, it, you, it's gotta, so you have to bite. <laughs> you do the middle of it. You do the middle of it. Just put it halfway yeah. there. Eat it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go away. Robert, my mic. It's not good. <laughs> hey Neil, just in time to try and veggie mite. I sent him this video. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> A bit dramatic. Yeah. Rachel, did you enjoy that? <laughs> That's funny. It was for Rachel, but I, I wanted to say, show you guys. That's hilarious. Yeah, they didn't like it. James Madison's up 18 to 5. Yeah, oh. from the wedding, like, Coco, seriously. Robert, you saw the video, or you did see the video. I'll send you the video, Coco, because you you're not on Facebook. Um, when he came home on Wednesday, Robert was tripping out on how tall Zeke got. Yeah. He's already, yeah. He's already like as tall as Robert, I think. Yeah, they're six foot. Me and Robert are both six foot-ish. And he's as tall as me. Yeah. We were putting, yeah. Most kind of like that we threw our threw our bottle out when... Of Vegemite? Yeah. When we first had it, yeah. That stuff's trash. We still have it. I don't know. The kids want, can go at it. When they feel like it, being stupid. They is just, it fishy? No. 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 I don't know. Robert said it was salty. Yeah. It's salty and funky. Yeah. Yeah. So that was entertaining. Because I was like, okay, leave it there. Don't tell Robert about it. And we'll have him try it. Yeah. Not fishy. Just tart and gross. Yes. Yeah. It is gross. Oh. There we go. Yeah. So that was entertaining. Yeah. Less Vegemite, more Tim Tams. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right? Vegemite is like congealed. Congealed? First I thought that said coagulated. I'm like, what the? F Soy sauce with salt added. Yeah. It's it's definitely like like solid. Like, uh, yeah. It's like weird. It looks like, it looks like hardened up, you know, jelly or something. It's weird. It is. It, it looks like tar. Neil hasn't touched Vegemite in 30 years. Yeah, we're not touching. I touched it that night. Never had it again. Tim Tams all day. Hell yeah. I was listening to, uh, I listened to, um, a podcast. It's, um, Tony Hawk and Jason Ellis. And Jason Ellis said somebody brought, could, Jason Ellis is Australian. And he said somebody brought him some Tim Tams. Mm. And he said he was so happy because every, like, he's like, I wouldn't eat them all. But every day he knew he was going to go home and, and there'd be Tim Tams in his 
<laughs> There'd be Tim Tams in the fridge or wherever he was keeping them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kathy. Would you rather eat Vegemite or guacamole? Guacamole. <laughs> I'll take the slow death of guacamole. <laughs> Vegemite with a Malort chaser. Hell yeah. That's just even worse. <laughs> I thought Dice was going to bed. <laughs> I eat avocado toast. Every day. Every day. That should be the Kino's challenge. Vegemite followed by him. Tony Hawk is a podcast. Yes, it's called Hawk and Wolf. It is Tony Hawk and Jason Ellis. If any of you guys are familiar with Jason Ellis or many of his previous incarnations, of, he used to be a pro skateboarder and then he was a fighter and then he was he had a show on Sirius XM for a long time. Does Ellis Mania. Ellis Mate. Do they have low carb Tim Tams? Ask Neil. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, you open it up to cocoa and you just sniff it. You just go. That's look guard right there. Hey, remember that stuff that you wanted to show that we got? Sounds like Dinovite, the dog age treat. I hear that on the radio. <laughs> I think a dog age. I eat avocado every morning. That's yeah. That's why I can't be around cocoa. <laughs> Ice is all jacked up on Mountain Dew. What did uh Kiss Cat say? Because you moved the comment. Never mind, I'll look at my phone because I'm still keeping it there. <laughs> Vegemite, what? I think I'll pass. Here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. That's like we don't have some. You can just show them what the damn chip is like. Our friend's daughter is a skating champion. She said he's nice. Um, Tony Hawk, a quick story. Tony Hawk. The person that taught Tony Hawk um, is Eddie, Eddie, Aguila, Eddie Agu Algera. Algera. And he is, he, I met him when I was 18 years old. He was the youth pastor Oops. at the Rock Church and World Outreach Center where I was going to church with my family. So, yeah, we've known, we've known Eddie for years. And then he opened up his own church up in the, where is that at? It's like awful. Yeah. So, yeah. Eddie's the one who, and he's like in his 60s. Oh, and God, I still, can smell it. And he still skateboards. It does smell like dog food. Well, my kids, do you know what my son was doing? This is what boys do, okay? Vegemite. You guys want to? Look, it's got B vitamins for for vitality. Oh, God, it looks, look, look at this shit. This looks like poop. Look at that. It looks like shit in a jar. <laughs> Tony Alba. From the skateboard movie? Ooh. Yeah. Yep. From the movie? Yeah, that was a good movie. <laughs> are we talking about the Bones Brigade movie? Or are we talking about the Dogtown? Dogtown. Dog Dogtown. Ew, can you close that? That stinks. The Dogtown Boys? Not Lords of Dogtown. The, the, the other one had the actual people. God, it smells terrible. It smells like... Looks like ball bearing grease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it looks like Nutella. It's tastes the opposite. It doesn't look like Nutella. It looks like darker than Nutella. Oh, what? It's it's beans like Malort. Yep, ball bearing grease exactly. Put a little of this on your. <laughs> the old movie with. Oh, I thought you were talking about like I I, I thought you were talking about like the documentary. Is that the movie I'm talking about? I don't what know. What you talking about? Look, we all know the greatest skating movie in the history of time is Gleaming the Cube. Let's not with Christian Slater. Okay, come on. Christian Slater? We all know what's up with Gleaming the Cube, okay? I've never seen that movie. Yeah. Tony Hawk and all those guys were the stunt doubles. Nice. Or all of them. They did all the skating. Yeah. 1976 movie. Good Lord. Now I gotta look that up. The skateboard movie Grind. University and my roommate watched that way too much. I don't I've never seen Grind. I've seen a bunch of like the old like skate uh Tony Alva still has a shot. Oh god. Kissy Bruh. cat. <laughs> Almost as good as Rad. Get out of here with your freaking Kissy cat. bike shit. Do you stalk him too? That was awful. <laughs> How old is he they have to be in their fifties? Tony Alva? Yeah. Oh all those guys are fifties. 
late fifties. Holy shit. They yeah. are because <laughs> I listen to his podcast and he has all those old skaters on. You're like, dude, some of those guys are like raggedy looking now, man. You're like, holy shit. I've been skating for 40 years. And they still do. 50 years. I think doesn't Eddie still just still skate? And he's like in his 60s, 70s. Yeah. yeah he was. Yeah, because Eddie Algaro was like Tony Hawk said he was like four or five years ahead of him. Okay. So, you know, but then when Tony Hawk hit the scene, Tony Hawk was only like 12, 13 years old when he like. So broke. Eddie was a damn. Eddie was like 18, 19. I'm not stalking anybody. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas, our way. When's your next trip? I enjoy the turn up. Yeah. Did you just call Steve a turn up? Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, Leaf Gear is my first 45, my little jukebox. Here. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We're talking about the past. Lord. You're talking about, older than me. About Leaf Garrett. That was like the first, like, you know. I don't even know who this guy is. Okay. That was like the first like teen heartthrob. Like, really? Yes, Leaf well, Garrett. I'm only, I'm only 41 here. So Definitely. I don't know who that is. L E, how do you spell his name? Leaf. L, L E what? L E I F Garrett. He had like flowy hair in the 70s and shit. Oh, it looks scary now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like you look scary now. He's like a killer now. Look at this guy's. Oh my god, he looks like <laughs> like murdering people. He looks like a no. Woo, there you go. There you go, ladies. Leaf Garrett all day. <laughs> no. Wow, look at that. That Ooh. hair's like. Let's see what he looks like now. Okay, before. <laughs> Oh God. Sexy as shit right there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like busted ass Brett Michaels right there. <laughs> busted, busted <laughs> Brett Michaels. <You're> stupid. <laughs> Full look like he got poisoned. Oh, you know what? Which actor did I say? Oh my God, he looks so bad. He almost looks like Stevie Nicks. <laughs> Welcome, Colin. <laughs> Yeah, I saw a recent pick. I was like, whoa. I mean, 62. I mean, he shouldn't be. I mean. He looks more like. I mean, look at Walt. Bit. Walt's like Walt's like 85. And he, he looks he looks like a stud. Dude, he has like better hair than a. What the hell? What's up with that outfit? Oh, Val Kilmer went down fast. Yeah, you're right. Oof. How am I horrible? I'm funny. You know, I get jokes in case I get I keyed, I keyed. In case I can't say it was horrible, she's not adopting me anymore. Who else is there? That There's this person. She just, that... she just tore up the adoption papers. Sorry. Damn it, I'm stuck with you. Why does Ralph Macchio look the same? I know, he does. <laughs> what does he look like? He's still, he's still like 16. <laughs> he's still in the All Valley. Karate <laughs> coming. Exactly. Morgan Freeman has looked like Morgan Freeman for like 40 years. He just looks the same. Like he, he, he looked like he was 80, 40 years ago. Val Kilmer has had a rough go. Some people just have baby faces. Yeah, look at uh look at Chris, Vegas dog. He's kind of baby faced. I think he's kind of baby faced looking. I don't know. Oh yeah, here we go. Prince William. Everybody says that he used to have that nice flop of hair. It was like he has oh. no hair now. And I was like, Phew. I mean, like he's not that old. He's like completely bald through you here. You had a crush on him. Well, you never know. <laughs> Jared Leto. He was born old. Robert De Niro is a stud. Huh? You know who I liked. Just passed away a few years ago. With That's what I'm saying right there. Yeah, see? Clean shaven Chris. Baby face. Yep. Dice hasn't hardly aged at all. Yep. Why can't I think of his name? Dice has hopped up on whiskey and cold medicine. Paul Rudd. Yeah. They always say about Paul Rudd, like he looks the same. He like looks exactly like he looks exactly like he did like when he was on Friends, okay, like in the nineties. 
Rick Springfield. Hmm. Who's that person that I really, really liked that would was in Robert De Niro's some of his movies that died? He died a couple of years ago. Older guy. Al blue, blue eyes. Um, that's, that's in Robert De Niro's movies? Some of his. Like, he's always those movies that were involving, um, like, like mo mobs and stuff. Help beat me out here. God, he just died. Oh, oh, um, um, I know you're talking about. Um, fuck, what's his name? See, fuck, we don't know his name. <laughs> yeah, the guy that was in um, the the uh, the the good good fellas. Good fellas. You, that's what I'm looking for. Speaking of old school, Keto, much respect to the Chuck E. Cheese shirt. <laughs> you mean my mechanical rat and child casino shirt? Because he's a two. Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. There, there you go. He, look, at, he was really, really old, but... Damn. It said adoption is for members only, Carmen. Damn. Colin bringing the heat on Carmen again. So who who says yes <laughs> about Ray, Ray Liotta? We're going to go see Rick Springfield and Ario Speedwagon. I saw Ario Speedwagon at the local fair, like, oh, my God. Probably, like, 20 years ago. It's like, you can't fight this feeling. Play it again. Nicholas Cage looks good. You don't know who Ray Liotta is? Ray Liotta. Show a picture of him. I have to find it now because I just found... This is him when he was younger. This guy. From Goodfellas. And then... he, Because he passed away. He passed away. When did he pass away? I don't know when. It, so this is him older. Look at that silver fox. You want to you see a silver fox? Uh, Kissy Cat said, Who's your cheat? Rick Springfield? Dice wishes he had Jesse's girl. Ronnie C! What's up, Mr. C? Here's some silver fox. Lord, it's always gone bad. Huh? What? Is that Mark? What's that guy's name? Mark Hammond. Lord. Harmon. You're like Mark Hamill. That's Luke Skywalker, bro. No, Mark Hammon. Har Harmon. Texas Rob, I'm waiting for a free membership tonight. Come on now. I already gave him away. At the beginning of the month. I already gave him away two weeks ago. They they, they only give me 10 a month to give away. I got away. So until the I gave him away fifth? right before Kino Nation, right? Yeah. So it's going to be the fifth again. Yeah. So not next not next Friday. Next Friday, but the after. Friday after, when we get into April, I'll have ten more to give. So you gotta you gotta come back in two weeks, Texas Bob. <laughs> oh Lord, please don't show my pig candy, aka silver box, S silver fluff. Silver okay, fluff. big silver fluff, right Hammond, there. Hammond, no way. I think he's cute. I am so you know I'm on season. I Bubba think said. Beaver Nuggets! What's up, Bubba? We'll Bubba, see you soon. we'll see you Monday, sir. Um, He wants the beavers. I already told my mom, Bubba. My mom's coming out for Mother's Day. She's gonna and, and I said, you better bring me some beaver nuggets because I know a guy. You know a guy. Bring I know a guy. Beaver. Yeah, he's Jones in. He's, he's, he's gone cold turkey. Kissy Cat, I'm on season 13, episode 22 of NCIS. Blair G! I am binge watching. Blair, how was your trip? What trip? His trip where he literally like went across the south and then drove across and then. I've been at work. And then he went to Vegas. He was in he was in Vegas for you like tell me three or four nights. Conversations with him. I, I follow him. Blair's like a Twitter legend. Oh, I'm not on Twitter. That's, That's the reason why. why. Mm -hmm. Mike Piazza. Mm. So, summer school. That's a good movie. That's uh Dude. My kid the pitcher. What's up, everyone? Greetings from Barstow. Oh, not too far from us. Mm, Barstow. Mm, Del Taco. Mm. Okay, In sorry. Coach store. 
Mm, nope. <laughs> he said trip was great. Took me past three days of recovery. Yeah. Your yeah, your southwest leg looked looked nice, or your south, your sorry, Texas going towards the southeast looked phenomenal, dude. I liked it. Of course, I get the quick updates from Blair. You, know? you do. You're like our like besties. <laughs> we never go, and it's around the corner. <laughs> Patrick Dempsey. Mm -hmm. I was I was just listening to yeah I listened to um oh wait nope different guy sorry not Patrick Dempsey <laughs> I was like wait wrong Patrick that was that was Patrick Duffy I was thinking of oh you were I had a step by step flashback but <laughs> you know what I gotta find it mm, Del Taco fry their chili cheese fries bomb guess what oh lord it says Abby's potential NCIS return and spinoff show addressed by CBS boss. Didn't she leave because she was getting harassed? She left. No, they're doing a spinoff with, um, with Michael. Um, yeah. With, uh, I saw a McDreamy, <laughs> Dr. McDreamy, McSteamy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I saw a TikTok today and he's like, what the hell are you watching? This girl is watching the episode on Grey's Anatomy where um george dies and she didn't know who you know we all didn't know who it was because he got really messed up and got killed and um she cried it was like ugly this girl this daughter ugly cried and i started crying watching it because <laughs> i remember that episode us members saw those early BJ picks. This guy aged like a fine Malora imp. <laughs> I actually, I actually have a couple more. Like, I don't have a whole lot of like old pictures of myself. They're probably at my mom's house, and she lives three thousand miles away from me. So, do you think she still has them? <laughs> I found a few at my dad's house and like a thing, and then every yeah. so often, like like a memory will come up on Facebook of like an older picture. So, I'll Thanks. post some more, Colin. Um, Corey just. Tell just tell Carmen what they look like. Don't show her. Just tell her. <laughs> Shut up. Can't right. buy me love. I can't even see them. Patrick Duffy, man from Atlantis. I would, I listened to um Pod Meets World, which is a it's the cast of Boy Meets World minus Ben Savage, and they have a bunch of people that were around in the nineties on, and they had um. The girl, what, what's that girl's name? Stacy, um, Stacy Keenan, the one that was on My Two Dads that played the daughter of My Two Dads, because she was on. Um, Boy Meets World. She was on. No, she was on. Uh, well, she was on Step by Step. That's what. Oh I yeah. On. Been watching, so I'll say hi. Give a thumbs up. Thanks, Diana. Appreciate it. Yeah, if you guys haven't thumbs up here, see if we can do it. We'll do it. We had balloons earlier. I have no reason why. Is that whatever? Can we do hearts? Hey, Kissy Cat. I can't do shit. It says NCIS Michael Weatherly shares excitement for Tony Ziva spinoff. Promises more surprise. Looking forward to the Roadhouse reboot. Didn't that already come out on Prime? Didn't they release that? I swear I saw that. The Roadhouse reboot? What yeah, with Jake Gyllenhaal. Dude, he has cut to shit. Like, he has cut up. It's got Conor McGregor in it. Mm. Uh, I swear I just saw it got released on Prime. Maybe not. Grey's Anatomy. I know it is the saddest one. Dr. McDreamy will always be a nerd from Can't Buy Me Love. See, see that's the second Can't Buy Me Love. Uh -huh. My favorite show. I've watched the whole series five times. Good Lord. Don't take series um, or movie suggestions from Sister Yoshi. Her taste is questionable. Oh, shut up. It's there fine. we go. Hey, now. Texas Rob with the best comment of the night right there. Topanga all day long. And she looks the same. She looks, she looks exactly the beautiful. freaking same. All like all the whole cast. The last time I watched Crazy. the pod meets world. I mean, the last time I listened to it, Boy Lindsay, Lindsay Ridgeway was on it. I went to high school with her and she actually played the younger okay. sister, the blonde. I'll look right now, Steve. Hold on. But I swear it came up on on our smart TV. 
that it Rose was released. Let me see. Griffin voice. Rose. Yeah. I'm watching Playboy Murders on I. Oh, that's so good. With, yeah. Um, I listen to, um, I also listen to uh, Girls Next Level that has Holly Madison and Bridget. That's it. That you're talking about? He's kind of cute in that picture. I just saw him on freaking. Yeah. One of the the Playboy Murders is good. It's hosted by, it's hosted by Holly Madison, right? All right, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if it's up here. George dies. Wait, what? Spoiler? Yeah. You haven't seen this shit from 20 years ago. <laughs> hey. I don't even know what episode that is. Hey. Everybody. Darth Vader is Luke's father, too. There you go. Spoiler <laughs> for all you fuckers out there. <laughs> Hey, there's your show. Paw Paw Patrol. Patrol. <laughs> Paw Patrol. Where's that music coming from? Yeah, it's out now. Are you going to watch it tonight? There you go. Cut up. That's all nice. First 10 off. There you go. That's for Steve right there. It's Connor McGregor. I don't like him. Can we watch this tonight? There you go. Roadhouse. Well, we're going to go watch TV now. <laughs> that's when... That's when Conor McGregor was on the freaking juice, man. <laughs> that's when he was juiced up out of the USADA pool, or whatever they call it now. I don't like him. George Clooney on Facts of Life looked weird. He's hot now. You know why he's hot? Because he's rich. There you go. Rich will make anybody look good. Josh Clooney is a good looking man. I think this guy is a good looking man too. He's like, what? Well, he said, well, what am I watching this shit for? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We'll be watching that tonight. I mean, you know. If Steve wants to go watch two muscly guys um, roll around and fight you know, each other, go ahead. Jake's ha Jake has kissed a man before he they asked him like how did you get so cut for the thing and he's like and he's like well i stay in pretty good shape but he said like two three months before the movie he worked with a guy uh -huh. for like three months to like shred himself down because he is cut up in this movie he's not just big he's cut i just saw him on a tiktok with uh kelly clarkson yep steve says he can't quit us i can't quit you <laughs> Here it sneeze. <sighs> Are we gonna do this? No. Okay. Go watch Yoshi's tomorrow. Oh no, wait. Uh, I'm sorry. Sunday at 5 p.m. Not Saturday. Broke house. That's right. Rich will make anybody look good. Yep. If I had a couple more million dollars. You know what we can do? Stop looking at Jake Gyllenhaal. Good Lord, I gotta take us off the screen now. <laughs> Good Lord. Let me see where my kid is. Shatner was on Kelly Clarkson. He's 92, yep. Oh, they're at Denny's and Yorba Linda. Oh, God, they're still way down there. Yeah, my kid won't be home for He ain't gonna be home forever. He's going to be tired because we're, we're waking up early in the morning. We're driving to San Diego. Yeah, we're going to the uh, USS Midway. Because I said, yay, we're going to do that for his spring break. And then we're doing it. USS Midway, and then we're going to go to my dad's house. And his neighbor's having a party. And my dad, any of you Midwesterners that know us up, or Easterners, anybody who's not from the West, because I don't do that shit out here. <laughs> he made homemade ice cream. Homemade ice cream. What's up with the homemade ice cream, y'all? Huh? What are you like staring at the I'm reading I'm reading the, the comments. <laughs> Does anybody has anybody ever made homemade ice cream? Made homemade ice cream. 
I okay. made butter before. Where it's it's <laughs> it's just all straight whipping cream and half and half and fuck ton of sugar. You put it all in the thing and then you put the ice around it and it goes. <laughs> Diabetes. Mm. Blair, it is the best shit ever. Oh my god. Crack style ice cream. No, 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 no. Crank style. Okay, so when i was young we used to make it like that there was no there were there there was no electric so yeah you would you would crank it i don't think i like this bra <laughs> i'm having issues <laughs> carmen they do not sell homemade ice cream in stores okay not the way that they make it okay we make it fresh fresh from scratch and we make homemade chocolate syrup Carmen and her uncivilized non-member ass. Get her out of here. Hey, we went and got ice cream, but we just had ice cream. I know, but I'm thinking about homemade ice cream. <laughs> like, oh we God. just had ice cream. My grandmother in India it. used to make butter at home. There you go. Churn the butter. I churned the butter on a, on a school school trip. Hagen dazs is homemade. No, it isn't. Get out of here. <laughs> homemade butter, ice cream, y'all Amish or something. <laughs> We used to hand crank that shit. You put the ice and then it freezes. Oh, it's the best shit ever. There you go. See, Rick makes it all the time. My man. Mm -hmm. It's because they're from Chicago. They know what's up. We used to make, um, we used to make it all the time in Illinois. And now my dad makes it. In fact, he just got a new, he just got a brand new um, homemade ice cream maker. The, the one you plug in, it does it itself. Banana split blizzard from DQ all day. We almost went to Dairy Queen, but I was like, ah. He was like, it's too much. It's so expensive at Dairy Queen. Like, a small blizzard, they're like $9. And I'm so like, I said, okay, well, and I'm like, I want Dairy a Queen's farther anyways. Farther. I want a large blizzard with, like, extra toppings. That's like $15 now. Okay, I'm like, nope. Stupid. Well, but, well, when you worked there, you probably ate it all the time. I worked at Dairy Queen, too, because the cat. I worked there for, like, seven years. Six years, seven years. Tracy Ford, Queen of the Castle. Uh, Ice cream sundaes for Kino Nation 7. We used to make it homemade mm -hmm. and transport it. Yeah. My first time trying Dairy Queen was in Vancouver. Yeah. So we just had Baskin Robbins because it's up the street. It, it was okay. I was like, yeah. I was, I was over it. It it didn't it didn't quench my snackness. So sometimes when he sits there and says he 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 wants he he looks at me and he goes snack and I'm all go get an orange. <laughs> an orange isn't a snack, but it's sweet. Anyone see the Blizzards Josh Range on their last video? I have not. I watched their. Uh, the New York, New York, where they where they bottle that food for like a hundred bucks. That shit was crazy. The Baskin Robbins is a. They used to have a flavor at Baskin Robbins called a uh, Tax Crunch. And they'd only have it out during tax time, and the shit was bomb. They don't make it anymore. Did you have a naked guy drive through Dairy? Did you have a naked guy drive through Dairy Queen? Did you have a naked guy drive through the Dairy Queen? Okay, traumatizing. No. No, but you did have somebody, what, rob the place, right? Yeah. Got, ro got robbed at gunpoint. <laughs> Chased him down. That's right. <laughs> Probably not smart to chase a guy with a fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was at... Yeah, I, dumb. I was helping up front in the... I wasn't in the pharmacy. The front store needed my help. Mm -hmm. So I worked... I was in there helping like some customers and I see these kids come in backpacks and all. Okay. I'm looking at them. They're probably like literally like seven, 16, 17 years old. I'm looking at them, you know, their acid, they went over to the grocery area and then they walked out and I'm like, I'm not about to even care what you took. I'm like, you can feel guilty. Cause I'm not about to chase your ass. <laughs> Yeah, he freaking No, it's stupid. all about <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you're not allowed to say chocolate jimmies. You're only allowed to say rainbow jimmies, okay? 
Chocolate sprinkles, rainbow jimmies. Chocolate sprinkles, rainbow jimmies? Yeah, the rainbow jimmies. I got some of those. We, we got some jimmies up there. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. They say sprinkles, but okay. They're rainbow jimmies in the east. I don't know what they are. We said people come into Dairy Queen because we had rainbow sprinkles and like, can I get can I get a vanilla kennel with them rainbow jimmies? They're like, yes, rainbow jimmies. Okay. N nobody cares about chocolate jimmies, okay? No. I worked one shift at Orange Julius, but the secret powder was sus, but man, they were good drinks. Okay, Orange Julius. Oh my god, it if you want to see me have like the shits in like five seconds. So I don't know what, yeah, whatever that secret powder is, it's like gunpowder in my ass. Like, that's what it is. <laughs> like, I like the concept because you'd have Dairy Queen and Orange Julius next to each other, like in the mall. You go to a mall. They're usually together. Dude, so bad. I'd be like, mm, that sounds so good, Orange Julius. Mm. And I drank it, and oh, my God. I, I should just pour the Orange Julius just right in the toilet. <laughs> I'd have saved my butt. It's so <laughs> And then, you know, like a year would go by, I'd be like, mmm, Orange Julius, I'll risk it. Same shit. Maybe it is the powder. Maybe it is sus. Carmen, get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I don't think I've had chocolate jimmies. You probably had chocolate sprinkles. <laughs> Ew, Pinchy Kino. Thank you for the visual. You're welcome, Coco. <laughs> that was my birthday gift to you. <laughs> Just think about me slurping an Orange Julius. This probably is eggs, egg powder and egg slacks. I swear. <laughs> I don't know what was in that. Shit. Like, oh well, just like when you you can't have certain like certain um, gum, right? Oh, no. Because it has sorbitol. Yeah. So you never know. Maybe they put sorbitol in their juice. Yeah. Sorbitol gives me the shits too. <sighs> So I know what to, I know what to do when you have to, when you have to um, have a, have a colonoscopy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Give him some orange Julius. Ooh, there you go. Nope. The random cute hot dog on a stick girl's making the lemonades. There you go. Ooh, lemonade. Those lemonades are bomb. Yeah, because they were all freshly squeezed that they had the, uh, they always had them right there ready to go. And I, I died. For the, for the, that place when I was a kid too. Yeah. yeah. Orange Julius and Everclear. Mm. Damn alcoholics. <laughs> Who said that? Corey. I can't see. The snort. The one that's making the, the cocktails right now? Yeah, that's what he's making right now. He just went to the... He traveled back in time to 1986. Went to an Orange Julius. Is Orange Julius still around? Like, do they? Yeah. yeah do, do they? Do it's they, in the mall. Do they survive still? It's in the mall with the Dairy Queen. I I never go to the mall because it's sad. <laughs> the rivers, the Marina Valley Mall is so sad. It's like, it's like the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> all you see, all. all you see is like the ninety-year-old women, the mall walkers, <laughs> <laughs> just like slow motion through the. It's like making laps. Hey, you my ring over there. That's true. Mm -hmm. Kino Weatherman. I'm at a retirement party today and the conversation devolves into drinking Malort somehow. And I chime in that I said, I know a guy who loves that stuff. They play Kino. <laughs> <laughs> loves a strong word. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> We're just there to torture other people with it. Honey, that is hilarious. Something's wrong with my hand. You gotta rub it. <laughs> What's wrong with your hand? I don't know. Oh God, yes, you're right, Blair. There is one in the fun dungeon, at the dirty castle. Oh, there is. Oh God, yeah, because there's a Dairy Queen down there. That's why. Yeah, it's always together. <laughs> so yeah, there is one in the mall. That's it. Purple passion. You can get that in two liters. What's purple passion? What is purple passion? That sounds really familiar. It's like my muscle. Is it made with rainbow jimmies? It hurts it all of a sudden. Rub it. <laughs> I'm old.
<laughs> Go get an orange Julius in Vegas and vlog it. Yeah. <laughs> no, then no, then he can't sit up. But he. I'll drink it right on the shitter. <laughs> like, and... well, you know how to vlog on the shitter, so. Right. In the shitter, in in that room, <laughs> maybe in the girls' bathroom. Shut up. <laughs> Pipe down, Melba. <laughs> It's okay. He can go into the girls' bathroom because, you know, they don't know what he, you know, identifies as. <laughs> Jolt Cola and Pac-Man at Pizza Hut. Best Friday nights ever. Got him old. Yeah. Jolt Cola, huh? Oh. They're like twice the sugar and all the caffeine. Jolt That's funny. Cola. Oh, okay, it was like Mad Dog 2020, Boone's Farm to Strawberry Hill there, Steve. Steve seems like a Strawberry Hill type guy. Bartles and James, maybe. Coco can relate. She was down with the uh, she was down with the Boone's Farms and the Mad Dog. <laughs> I want to. I want a hundred cases of Jolt Cola, Jesus, and I couldn't give it away. Interesting. Boone's Farms, Wild Mountain Grape. Mm -hmm. What are the benefits of being a member? I'm intrigued. Sell it to me. Okay. Number one, you don't have to be, you, you will be a step above Carmen, Sticky Fingers. That's number one. <laughs> Two, you get the cool emojis in there. Ooh. I got a bunch of members in here. I know I know that Kathy likes to drop them. Kathy, go drop the emojis. Bradley, you're a member. We got uh there we go. You won't be able to see it on my screen, but see we got the shots, we got a fireball emoji, um, a malort emoji, a backpack emoji, hashtag Kino Nation emoji. And a truly emoji, which goes in Candy's backpack. There you go. See, everybody's hitting it. Although it doesn't come up on my screen very well, but if you're watching it on your phone, you can see it. It doesn't come up on the screen. You know, it comes up on the phone. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So you can probably see them all. I don't have them anymore. That's right. These are the emojis I get. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you cheap assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the emojis I get. Boons or Thunderbird? Oh, God. Thunderbird? Oh, my God. This guy came out of the freaking... Li what the hell? Who left the dog door open? Tommy snuck in. Where, Tom, where hey. You, you get a case of Malort. Flock that. Oh, by the way. Hi, Kinos. What's that? Texas Rob. Do you have access to home cameras? Asking for a friend. You don't want access to this home cameras. Yeah. They're teenagers in this house. <laughs> teenagers and cats. Teenagers walking around in underwear. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Tom. What you been up to, Tom? Hello. Tom's <laughs> out. Tom's out circumventing the globe. Yeah, he's laughing at me because I don't have the cool emojis. I know. I, I, I told her before, I was like, before we do this live stream, can you join back up? She's like, sure. And she just doesn't. She's no, I can't join on my phone, huh? Now I have to do it on that thing. We'll do it for next time. Let me try. I guess, Rich. Sometimes it does let you, you know? Tommy working. Today was 30 out of 32 straight days. Good Lord. Guess what, Tommy? I'm on vacation. <laughs> 32 straight days man as of yesterday kissy cat said show leaf garrett i don't google him why what are you doing i'm trying to see if i can join on my phone it doesn't work <laughs> you can't do it you gotta do it <laughs> Being a member is all about status, like being gold at MGM, but not platinum. Exactly. Exactly. I wonder if you can do it, like, on the internet. Yeah. Just what? do it afterwards. Follow the chat, good lord. I'm following the chat. 
Neil's going to three countries in a year starting November nice. I want to go somewhere. Damn. Tom said, next time you get married, I'm not bringing you to food. Ooh. Tommy was your escort. I'm not getting married next time. Yeah. She's my last and done. Please help me. Please send help. I'll get married. Uh, you know, if this doesn't work out, I'm going to turn gay. <laughs> you know, you should post special shit for members. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me drinking orange Julius on the toilet, Coco. Yeah. The Coco's like, I just canceled my membership. <laughs> <laughs> you do I mean you don't do a lot but yeah Candy you're welcome to come to Australia and Keno is welcome to come as well thanks Neil Candy come on down uh, you gotta bring that guy <laughs> she's like ah. if I'm coming to Australia I'm bringing an extra suitcase for Tim Tams Yes. I'm going to bring them all back. Yeah, okay. Members only, I eat guacamole, so that'd be the last thing I post. Hey, Tom, do you realize it's like two years? I married him two years ago, yep. like last Tuesday. On Tuesday, two years. <sighs> Tuesday. Guess Hi, what we did for our anniversary. Hi, Barbara. We worked. <laughs> we worked. <laughs> Is that Barbara? Welcome man. We worked. I came home. I showered. He went to bed. That's how that went. I'm good, Tom. I just saw Granny in Vegas a few weeks ago. Hey, we did too. We saw Granny and Kissy Cat. I saw Kissy Cat twice because she came. She came after the thing. We want to know where that music's coming from. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Tracy Ford apparently says it's nice to see Tom. I'll bring a case of raid for the bugs if we go to Australia. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I don't think I want to go to Australia. There's big bugs there. The Van Buren drive in, the drive in theater still open by the Orange Groves. Is it still open? The, the drive in? It's a swap meet, right? On the weekends. This On the is like weekends a, is a stop, swap meet. Yeah. I don't know if they still play movies. But yeah. I think they do. The Van Buren driving. They have one also in... Um, Ruby Dale. Yeah. yeah. Why are you trying to... Why are you finishing my, my sentences? Oh, because we've just been married so long. We've been each other's sentences. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> no, that's true. My though. kid is still in your Belinda, guys. Yeah, he's eating on a Friday night. He's probably busy wherever he's eating. They're in the parking lot. Maybe they're dead. Neil's the spider killer. He had to kill a large spider. Uh. Oh, yeah. Our anniversary was this week. Yep, it was Tuesday. Two years. The honeymoon's over. We're not newlyweds no more. Nope. No more. Whatever. He still loves me, though. Hey, somebody's banging that music. I know, I want to see where it's at. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, yeah. Damn. What? I need to fold that stuff. My work stuff's in the freaking washer, too. Why are you so whiny? Because it gets wrinkly. It gets the wrinklies. Aw, thank you, Kathy. Kathy. Kathy with the 1999 If you want, Super you can fold your laundry. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Kathy. We have done nothing. We haven't even gone on a honeymoon yet. We have to plan that one. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. We we owe you we owe you, my lord. We haven't gone because we have kids. Hi, Barbara. Yeah, Barbara's in here. Good answer. You're late to the game. I'm late to the game. I'm tired. Well, thank you, Kathy. What did you get, Candy? Uh, not yet. I haven't got anything yet. It's upcoming, possibly. We'll see. Maybe. I got her my love, <laughs> Coco. I'm going to take his credit card. My love. 
and go get something coach related. After working for a month, even I drink. I'd even drink a Malort now. Come on, Kathy. Didn't she? She was the one who gave it to us. She needs to drink it. Yeah. She didn't say, "Here, take this. Give me a sip." She said, "Here, please take this. Go away. <laughs> Far away." Well, if you drink enough champagne, Kathy, you won't notice the difference. I think Kathy wouldn't have noticed if we'd have given her a lot weekends ago. <laughs> no. Judging by the amount of champagne or wine or whatever she's drinking. She's drinking champagne. A lot of champagne. A lot of champagne. Shauna is falling to sleep on the couch. We're headed to bed. That's right. I'm falling asleep sitting here. I need to still take a shower. Oh, yeah, huh? Okay. And wipe my face off now. Oh. I put makeup on. I don't know why I put makeup on. It wasn't even that much makeup. You're like, you need to put yourself back, like, together. <laughs> He's going to re-gift the Malort. Nope. I keep it. We were down to half a bottle. And, and I was, like, and then, trying to get rid of it. I was like, and yes, then, it's done. It's over with. Nope. And then Kathy replenished the stock. So now more Malort for everybody else. So if you have to try Malort, you can blame Kathy because she got us another bottle. All the suffrage. Yeah, I think I need to take a shower. All right. Because I want to take a shower and get everything going because we got to wake up early tomorrow. Texas Rob. See, although I do remember uh, Texas Rob, he says that in Hundy's chat, and then I come in with the 99 cent super chat. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody super chats lower than me. Hashtag frugal. Hell yes. I applaud your frugality, Texas Rob. Because anybody knows frugal, who is it? This guy right here. That's why I go shopping without you. El Cheapos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Frugal. That's right. Where knows what's up? Said drive safely tomorrow. Yep. That's right. Candy scent. Time to say goodnight. Yep. I have to take a shower. Hey, now. That too. That's post-shower. Hey, now. All right. We got to go. <laughs> the boss has said we got to go. I'm kidding. So. Yeah, I do got to shower. I want to get ready <laughs> before Zeke comes home. Maybe he's coming home. I don't know. He's still in your Belinda. <laughs> I think I'm going to eat a Hot Pocket. Mmm, Hot Pocket. Scott Pocket. You can eat a hot pocket. I'll jump in the shower and listen to my book. What movie is that from? Scott Pocket. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So, anyway. All right, guys. We'll see you guys later. Night, everyone. Off to watch the vlogs from this week. We put our last one up tonight. Hell yes. Is it already up, Carmen? I don't know. I only ever see it because it comes up on my homepage. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Bye, all. Bye. See you guys later. Neil. Good night. Tom E. It was wonderful seeing you, buddy. Jesse J, see ya. Barbara. Pat and Teresa. Neil, I already said goodbye, Neil. Corey. Rach. Tracy Ford, the queen of the castle. I'm going to buy ice cream. That is a solid move, Rach. Mm, I did that earlier. Get some good stuff. We went to Baskin Robbins. It was okay. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to go heat me up a hot pocket. So I'm going to go take my makeup off and take a shower. Now, everyone, be safe. Max Bet. Big Bet Candy. All right, guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.